Hey, what's up, everyone? So, um, I've noticed there's some videos that talk about installing the timing chain, and I know this is just going to be a small little clip, but I noticed that there's not that much detail in understanding where the markings are located for the 2ZZ engine. So if you take a look, this line right here, that's the marking. Now, this is the actual gold piece chain. Sometimes the timing chain is an orange clip on it, and this one right here is a gold one or a bronze color. So what I need to do is get a crescent wrench onto here and turn it towards the firewall or the bulkhead of the vehicle or towards the exhaust manifold, if you will. So I'm gonna turn this way because I need to get this sprocket to move to the left so that this marking is actually on this gold piece. Now, I don't have to do any adjustments here on the exhaust sprocket of the camshaft because if you see the gold or bronze clip of the chain link for the time chain is actually on that marking. So let's see if I can put a light there so you can see right there the little dimple that's on the sprocket it's actually aligned to that gold piece chain link okay so that's really important right there before you go further with the process of installing the chain all right everyone so i'm going to explain a little bit on the adjustment of the sprockets for the intake camshaft so that we can align it to this gold chain link right here now sometimes i hear that the chain link might have a orange colored chain link but this one's gold or brass so what I did is um, I moved this camshaft and I'm gonna show you something that I've noticed it's that no one really talks about it but in order for me see it's got a spring feel to it so if I let go it just comes right back to a its normal position but it gets you off of the actual alignment of that timing chain so what you want to do is align it place the chain on the sprocket already where the gold clip or the orange clip or chain link is aligned to the line right here of this intake sprocket here so if i let go it stays in place now what sucks if you look at the exhaust side if you look at the exhaust side i'm, I'm a tooth off so what I'm going to do is do the same thing, but turn the, see how I can fit this. I'll do my best. It's just not working out really well. I'm hoping this works. If not, I have to use a different wrench, but I'm going to lift up on this chain. And see if I can get it in place and I can't. And the reason why it's because my wrench is sitting right here, so I gotta figure out. Ooh, I'm glad I checked. I didn't check these. I need to tighten these up. Okay, so I gotta do it again and figure out what to do. But I definitely need to align that sprocket. can't do it so some I need to figure out what I can do right there I gotta get a bigger wrench all right so I did say I needed a bigger wrench really what I needed uh, just need to rephrase what I was trying to say uh, and instead of using a crescent wrench I needed an open box wrench however I don't have a size that will fit this because it's hitting right here on this piece so unfortunately I have to remove the chain again off the intake side of this camshaft sprocket and I'm just gonna move the chain just one tooth back so that the exhaust sprocket if you see the dimple is aligned to this gold tab here or gold chain link of my timing chain now i'm gonna adjust this side here on the intake side because now i have room where i have some real estate to be able to use this crescent wrench and adjust accordingly. So let me get my light here so you can try to get a better, better view of it. So now we're gonna go and give that a try.
All right, so that didn't work. So now I'm just gonna take the chain off the the gloss side and line it to the intake sprocket. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna see if I can probably move it with this bolt right there. All right, so I was able to do it with this wrench right here. And what I did, I just lifted up on the chain just a little bit. I couldn't take it all the way off, but I took a little bit of tension, off, the tension off of the sprocket. And then I turned this exhaust sprocket just a little bit towards the front of the engine or front of the car, okay, or front of the intake, towards the intake area. And when I did that, I just kept on turning it until the sprocket was able to insert onto the chain link of this timing chain where the nip the little dimple is actually right there aligned to the gold chain link of the timing chain and that's how i was able to do this timing chain installation thanks